Hello and welcome back. My name is Huntner. It has been a while. I've had a little bit of trouble with getting back to recording. My computer exploded. Some other things happened. And finally, finally we are back because look at this. It is the recent remake of Master of Magic, one of my favorite games of all time. And I just am so excited to get back to recording and so excited to get back to this game after many, many years. I've been playing around with it. There's a lot of stuff about it I don't like, but there's just so much more I do. Uh, most of the stuff I don't like is user interface stuff that that could be improved. A couple of things that could even lead to really bad mistakes. But generally, the game plays like it should play. Things feel like they're supposed to feel. It really just feels like Master of Magic, except on a hex grid. And with a great new art style, I have to say. I really do like the new art style. It's pretty cool. We're just going to get started. I have talked at you enough. New game. I'm probably going to play two games of this at the same time. We're not going to push difficulty or anything because this, this game isn't hard even when it's difficult. Let's, let's just say that that's just the truth. Regular world game and one Mirren game. We're going to start our first game today, which is going to be a relatively regular, straightforward game. I'm going to play with Ariel as our portrait. And we are going to play a high man, life magic, straightforward playthrough. We're going to call ourselves, I don't know, one of my classic RPG games, I guess. And so we're going one, two, two, three, four, five, taking divine power. And then normally I try to get myself a combat summon when playing, because normally I play with conjurer but we are skipping conjurer today we're we're really gonna just try as much as we can to just go all life and then we're gonna do a a heroes based play a hero divine based play almost all life it's gonna be pretty straightforward and pretty fun to focus on buffs regular units just good stuff. Uh, is there anything we want to do? I tend to use Starfires more than Bus. I tend to use Endurance more than Heroism. Uh, this is great if you're fighting death. But we don't know we're going to, so we can pick up later, and we'll start with Guardian Spirit. Okay, our race is going to be High Men. Now, it, they're pretty much the generic race, but although I think the actual most generic race to me always feels like Orcs, because they have no building restrictions. They get they get to do everything. High Men don't get fantastic stables. All of their units are relatively uh, mundane. We're going to take blue and then just we're gonna start right away in this game we're gonna be playing more like it's civilization at the beginning i think we're gonna try to expand as quickly as possible we're not gonna have access to a lot of summoned units which is gonna make it hard for us to open up the um the dungeons and stuff but hopefully we can build up fast in our capital we want to get the paladins as quickly as we can oh, nice and green very nice get this Chaos node right next to us. That's okay. Uh, our they misspelled heaven on our our capital here. That's seems like a bit of an error, an oversight, but we'll be fine. And and we are losing money right away. So let's look at what we can build. I think we're just gonna marketplace immediately because we're losing money right away, and then shrine, and then not worry about that for a bit. We are going to have to play, like, keep saying this, but because you haven't seen me play this game at all yet, but I almost always play a summon build. And so usually I don't have to worry about my town's abilities to produce units because my early exploration units are all like coming from my magic. But there's, there's not much of that with life. There's not much of that at all. Usually at the beginning of the game, especially on the normal world, sending out your settler by themselves is not a risk. But theoretically, it can be. 
uh, recall hero planner travel already. Here we go for heavenly light. First turn is over. Between the two of them, hopefully we find a good start starting location. Dead end down here. I don't think that I think that means there'll be nothing I can build down there. There is literally nothing we can do against even those weak undead. Yeah, there's no building spots to the south. So that's interesting. I guess we're forced north. Okay. We just look at our surveyor. We can see the dark green spots are places that are far enough away that they can build a town. We're looking for a good mix. Like this square will probably be where we build. We want high production and high population. I mean, obviously that you want that in every game, but particularly in a summon free game, we need a good starting town. Just going to, I think it's Q. It's not Q. What is it? It's O for outpost. Q is for road somehow. Could give me a free knight, but they got a, sorry, not knight, but uh, swordsman, but they got to stay still. Free mana doesn't hurt. Not at all. Okay. We're not losing as much gold as we were a minute ago. That's a thing. This is not a particularly great start. Look at these squares. They're just all like generic food squares. There's literally nothing here. It's... <laughs> and because this game is like pre Civ 5, Civ 6 style Civ game, these borders, they don't change. This is just what the city controls forever. Yeah, it's just what the city controls forever and it's fine and we're not going to worry about it. Okay, this is my free magic spirit, which we use to explore. I don't know. There's no way nothing's nothing's going to get south here to attack me. So we'll continue to explore with the swordsman as well. Although I don't like leaving cities open. They will get instantaneously taken by neutrals, although my ex Although, although, <laughs> my experience tells me that at the beginning of the game on the normal world, the neutrals aren't as hostile for the first while. While if you play on Mira, the, they can be hostile almost immediately. See if there's any spells I can maintain. Endurance might be worthwhile. One up keep. No, for now, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. I might put the, um, the spirit out in the ocean just to get the borders. This also makes it a little safer. This is a nomad town. I got no problem with nomads. I actually kind of like them. They're at one of my favorite races, especially for sorcery builds. Hey, this is no longer an outpost. We're going to just immediately build a barracks. Not a barracks. We immediately build a builder's hall so we can build a shrine almost right away, and then we work towards Swordsman. Another town here. It's Orcs. I don't know if I'm going to be purging races that I don't like, or if I'm going to just adopt them. This is a very controlled space, which is nice. Because I'm doing the, uh, the religious special trait... We want mostly people who can get all the religious buildings, which orcs can, but I don't know if nomads can. It's not that big a deal. But a lot of our power can come from our, uh, from our religious buildings. Free money. I should be checking all of these, but I don't always. Let's see. In a normal game where I was using summons, I would have already taken one of these towns because I would have had some kind of summon and I'd have a real useful army. Okay, that's 
That's awful. <laughs> Maybe we do. Do we do? Let's say, are we on an island or is this just the edge of a continent? The side. Bring the two units together and then we will probably attack them. And I really think we're going to keep the orcs. I think we're going to cast the holy armor. Just because I want one of these units to be strong. Join up. Three turns for the holy armor. Armor. Do we have enough money to buy this yet? Nope. Take it forever. Build everything. And we have a point of rebellion already. I think we'll do that because we have to get this done as quickly as possible. Get rid of that point of rebellion and then start building spearmen to stop those from occurring. Spirit might be of help. We gotta pass one more turn because we gotta finish out that uh, holy armor spell that we wanna cast. Hopefully, we don't give him time to build another unit. Cast it on the stronger guy. Got some maintenance on him now. Down here at Haven. He'll try to get this built. Give it to that damn rebel. Not quite there yet either. It's fine. Pretty sure we will win this. It's gonna be a bit of a management game, though. Green Arrow is our guy who can, uh, who has the better armor. Good. I always play with the fast animations. Ugh. It's like the literal worst. All right. I mean, we need it, so. Like, we need the town. They're not in rebellion. Possibly this guy's part of the reason for that. Let's build... Mm, two orc spearmen feels too greedy. We'll build that, and then we'll build the, um, the shrine. Having lost one of our town guards is not the coolest thing to have happen. We did make some money, which will allow us to do this. And then afterwards, we can build this guy a spearman. Yeah. Okay. This guy. I was too aggressive with the unenchanted guy. That is what happened. I regret it. There's no going back. We make mistakes. We move forward. It wasn't critical. We're not going for some kind of weird 100% no killed. You know, I don't need to explore with him anymore. He can check out these. Love the spirit through all the exploring at this point. Good. They're not in rebellion. Good. You can defend your home. Oof. It's another orc town. And we got this up here, too. It's in here. There's literally no chance I'll defeat that bear. Not by myself. Not with one unit. Not without ex disposable summons. Oh, this is a strong orc town. This is going to prove to be a problem. Like, early on, too. Hmm. This is hard. 
technically I think this is doable. But we're not doing it right now. We're not taking any risks. We need to recover from our losses in Hadar. Hardar. Hmm. Mitar. Having a really strong neutral orc town that close is really bad luck. Okay. Have a defender now. So we will build a shrine? A granary? No. That's fine. We do need to start building an army, though. And to expand if we can. They're pretty strong, too. We're gonna need to get somebody able to build swordsmen. Yeah, I need defenders in towns, right? So that helps fix my defender problem. Gets me closer to having swords, so that's absolutely a good buy right there. We also need an engineer. Cavalry. So let's look at these. More figures, decent armor. No, so decent melee, basic armor. Yeah. Less figures, more strength, same armor. I think we're gonna build some cavalry. And then a temple. Maybe no rebellion here. We're making just enough food. Which means we're gonna need to come up with a source of food to compensate for the new troops that we're getting. Another problem with starting with no summons is that uh, we have no troops that cost mana. And our first hero offer he is a barbarian. He's pretty strong. He's a forester. He's got scouting. Oh, he's a caster, too. That seems weird, but cool. All right. Rakir, you're hired. Like, all my money down here. Grab him. Send him up to meet with our one unit that has some flexibility right now. What are you doing? <laughs> that is a pretty aggressive early attack from a neutral. I think I have no choice but to do this, right? This pulls the spearman out. What can I cast? Holy weapon on our barbarian friend. I think is worth the mana. Oof, this fight is not going well. Okay, it's going fine. Okay. So now looking at these two, you need to go home. <laughs> Oh, and we have another wizard right next to us. It is, of course, of course it's Rajak. Okay, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> My first cavalry. Just grab the spearmen and send them there. So these two can keep their little army together. don't like this at all. This is a very tough start. There is room to expand. We're going to take this. We got a town over here. Probably got room for a town over here. I don't know if we're going to even be able to get Mitar. It's really strong and most likely he's going to chase it. He's playing elves, I think. I didn't look properly looks like elves long trail is absolutely a priority and it is definitely what oh we are plus two on food that's fine 
what are you building here? Housing. Okay, so we build. We need to build a shrine and then the granary. Uh, then we need to start building spearmen or something. The start of this game has been a lot wilder than any of the games I've played on the regular world so far. We have two of these. Hopefully they can help somehow. Looking at this. We need to... Uh, you have something in your queue. It's the temple. You're both building shrines. Our money is not great, but it's not terrible. Okay. What is your plan? What is your plan? You archers. I hate archers. Play all kinds of pingy games with you. If I... Yeah. I should be able to defeat some archers with two cavalrymen. Let's hope, right? This is tear all the way up there. I don't like the sound of people dying. I mean, unless it's them. I'm okay with the sound of them dying. Okay. Okay, things feel more stable. Our cavalry killed those weird neutral elves. We're gonna have a unit that's actually worth having. We might be able to clear some stuff up. It's so different playing without summons. I, I am so... It's like, even when I played this as a teen, I was so absolutely, uh... <laughs> absolutely summon addicted. Every single game was, how can I get summons out? How can I use them to fulfill all my needs? Okay, we're still all doing fine. You know, I think this is going here. We gotta try to take Long Trail if it's even possible. That's actually not terrible, Guardians. That might that's that might be doable. At least pretty soon. Cavalry. I can afford them. And I probably would have built them anyway. So that's a good, nice uh, situation. Hopefully, hopefully there, our next population can go towards giving us more food. It will. The game balances that stuff pretty well. Its assessment is that we'll win with losses. We're, even though it's risky, we're gonna wait a bit. I'm sort of tempted to give myself another Holy Armor though. Holy Armor is two upkeep, Holy Sword is one. I think we're gonna cast the Holy Weapon. It's gonna take forever. Let's look at this. Don't really need research that much right now. I'm okay with research taking a while while I'm trying to establish myself. So these three vials represent research, casting skill, and mana. This is what you produce for your actual sp um, spells to use them each turn. Casting skill is the amount of mana that you can actually use in a turn. And this is points to research pushing this up. No, no not this. This is... Once this goes up, this number goes up. It's this. One per turn. Not very much. Not very much. I'm not sure why I'm sending him into the ocean. I'm kind of looking for other wizards. Maybe someone who won't just naturally hate me. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do. I think we can handle this. That, I shouldn't have done. I don't know what I was thinking. So they basically threw that unit away. No idea why I thought that was a good idea. Okay.
Oh, it's worth it for one unit. Okay, well, if I hadn't thrown that one cavalry in a way, that would have been probably a, complete, a clean victory, but, you know, it happens. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't count the squares. I put them too close to two units. Okay, we're definitely keeping this. They're not going to be happy. Uh, we'll, we can leave our guys here until they heal so we can have a chance to build some stuff that will, uh, will help their happiness. In particular, like two of those and then a builder's hall. We will pay probably for the spearmen. They can fortify until the situation is better. This is fine. We end of the turn. They really need an engineer soon. Yeah, losing that cavalryman made me feel a little down. That's the second I'm going too quickly and not paying enough attention unit loss so far. And they were both units that I could afford, so it's not even like I can pretend I needed to lose them. I didn't. Okay, so someone... You built your shrine. That's good. You built your shrine. That's good. Okay. And you built your two guys, so we can just take these guys. That can't do that from there. It's got to be from here. And check out some of these. Ooh. Check out some of these places out here. Continue to explore on land. These guys shouldn't be in rebellion with two units. We hope. <laughs> I hope. Guys. As you're on board, right? I might be able to take this. Which would be really useful. I could use the mana. As soon as... As soon as this... As soon as the... Ca oh, the capital is cleared up. So to say, as soon as the capital clears up, I can... Uh, first, we want to build a spearman. Then after the spearmen, we want to build an engineer. And then a marketplace. What does the marketplace do? Yeah, taxable rent. That's fine. Everything's good here. Nobody's upset. Good. Good. Our power is going up because of our temples. Everything is going pretty well. We do need to build more units soon. The only place they can build anything of use is the capital. It sucks a bit. But once these guys have their granaries built, we'll start pushing them towards being able to build cavalry too. Then we'll probably push the capital towards making paladins. So I should be able to defeat this. Hopefully, we have no silly losses again. But these bears are real strong. Our primary fighters against the bears, we want to be... That's too far forward. We we don't want anyone past this line, except for the guy we actually want to do the fighting. So our magically enchanted swordsman... Okay, that was good. We made good use of our magically enchanted swordsman to make that bear get a little squished. Can now cast the holy weapon. Uh, we want the holy weapon to be on one of the cavalry units. Okay, the granary is built. So we want them to build a second spearman. Oh, uh, they can build engineers too. There's nothing wrong with orc engineers. I don't need two though. They have shamans, which are pretty cool. Okay. I think we're going to go with Miner's Guild for the Orc Oh no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> My precious mana! Okay, there's our engineer. His job is going to be just to attach all of our three cities with roads. We have a position for a city up here and a position for a city down here. I think we're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna expand the Orcs, but I think we're gonna expand the Nomads. And, of course, our high men. So we're going to spend, send someone from the high men down here. I don't think we can beat this. And I'm, I don't think it's wrong. 
I don't think it's wrong. I think I need ranged. Something ranged. What's my best path to something ranged? So... Ah, uh, I can already build Orc Shaman, can't I? A Bowman is ranged 2, and a Shaman is ranged 2. Shaman's just, strictly speaking, better than the Bowman. Yeah. The Shaman has more upkeep to make up for that. So I think we're going to build 2 Shaman. Need to build the road. So this is old civilization-style roads, which means... Because the stack limit is 9, units refuse to go into cities when they're moving on roads, because oftentimes they won't be able to anyway. Kind of makes sense, because if there's units in there and it's a full-size stack, it won't be able to enter the city. So you have to build roads around your cities so that you don't jump off the road to keep moving. Like I said, old Civ style. Holy chaos spawn. Nope. Nope, this is not a Chaos Spawn strong army. We'll see what this 12 guy up here is like. In a hero build like this one, we definitely want to make a lot of magic items, but it's a little too early for that. Because I need some mana on hand. A couple of permanent enchantments to make my army a little stronger is good, but we also want to be able to add enchantments. It'll help during certain fights. Buffs. Hymen have wizards, right? We have priests, but they require Parthenon. I can build a Parthenon so we can get priests. Priests are the same cost as... Uh, as the Shaman, but they have better ranged attack, I think. Wizards have even better ranged attack, but worse melee. I mean, it's it's on the path to getting our paladins anyway. The other thing that is, is the white building, the armorer's guild, which requires the fighter's guild, which requires the armory. So we'll build the armory. It's cute that our, our neighbors are literally the guys most likely <laughs> to be problematic for us. Got this army out here. <laughs> it's not even unstrong. Okay. I kind of want to see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's, it's... It's undead. See what we got here. I Elf Spearman. He's got some bug people. Got a bunch of bug people. And some high elves. He's enchanted literally everybody because, you know. Let's cast another. No, let's cast a holy weapon. Let's cast a holy weapon. I'm a bit concerned I missed this one. Not that it matters. At all. Okay, um, interesting. <laughs> That's unexpected. I think he cleared everybody out. Why didn't he get to take it right away? What happened? Oh, they attacked him. They attacked him and he won. They attacked him and he won. You know, he's gonna want... <laughs> it's not gonna turn out good for me. They are not in rebellion. It's pretty cool. We're gonna build them a builder's hall. Uh, probably we should build them some spearmen first, you know? A couple of spearmen. And builders hall. Maybe we'll even build them a marketplace? Uh, that, that's, that's a little bit too reaching ahead. Alright, so with that chicanery, I think we're going to call this the end of our first episode. We are doing okay. We need a bigger military. And the lack of summons is driving me literally insane. Like, completely, literally insane. Thank you for watching. I am Huntner. And this has been Master of Magic. 
I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider commenting or giving me a like. And I hope to see you in the next part.